Hello, I'm Dave Stanley with a Sky Racing update. The Kieran Ma and David Eustace trained two-year-old Anders is out to continue the winning run of form with stable youngsters when he steps out in Saturday's two-year-old open handicap at Rose Hill. Anders is coming off a last start Wyong victory in which he scored by almost seven lengths when Ashley Morgan was in the saddle. That effort followed a second at Kemble Grange behind the Gerald Ryan trained Peltzer, which has since impressed winning his two subsequent Saturday starts in City Grey. The Lord Mayor's Cup highlights the Rose Hill card on Saturday. Meanwhile, Mar and Eustace will have Makura contest Saturday week's Group 1 JJ Atkins at Eagle Farm on the back of her recent impressive Rose Hill wins. Classic legend will be back in action at the Canterbury Barrier Trials on Friday morning as he begins what is hoped to be another preparation that culminates in a start in the Tab Everest in October. The Lesbridge trained sprinter contested the race last year and didn't have the best of luck when finishing unplaced behind. Yes, yes, yes. Classic Legends owner Bon Ho is now a slot holder in the Tab Everest. Classic Legend, a rising five-year-old, hasn't raced since finishing 10th in the inaugural Golden Eagle. He is due to trial in Heat 7 and Friday at 10am. A number of three-year-olds will put their Stradbroke handicap credentials on the line when they line up in Saturday's Fred Best Classic at Doombin. Trainer Gary Moore has last start Saturday winner Petronius lining up in the event with Luke Dipman taking the ride. Petronius needs a victory to earn a ballot-free start in the Stradbroke, for which Doncaster mile-winning jockey James Innes Jr. is on standby for the ride. Likewise, the Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott informed three-year-old Dawn Passage also needs to win the Fred Best to force his way into the Stradbroke, with Innes Jr. also on standby to ride him. John Thompson has grand piano in the Fred Best on the back of his four wins from five starts in Sydney this campaign. Blake Spriggs has been quarantining in Queensland in preparation for Grand Piano's Stradbroke ride, should he force his way into the race. Co-trainers Toby and Trent Edmonds can't wait to get ties zone to the Stradbroke handicap after his solid fifth in last Saturday's victory stakes at Eagle Farm. Speaking with Sky Sports Radio, Trent Edmonds confirmed Robbie Frad will ride tie zone, which just has 52 kilograms to carry. Originally starting his career in Townsville, Ty Zone has been a fan favourite and a winner of over $1 million in prize money. Ty Zone was as much as $51 when the tab first opened. The Stradbroke All-In Market is now an $11 chance. And in good news for putters, New South Wales tab agencies are set to open again as soon as tomorrow in the wake of the coronavirus lockdown. It appears also that pub tabs and club tabs can open from next Monday. And it's sure to be another big week of racing. Stay tuned to all our social pages and keep up to date with the latest information.